Happy Halloween and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. So for the full problem and solution transcript, you can check the description of this video on our YouTube channel. Uh, so this week's problem of the week, Halloween themed, um, I give you this pumpkin looking uh, graph and I give you the parameterization of this graph with x and y and t ranging from 0 to 2 pi and I ask you to calculate the area of it. Um, so I'm going to start by recognizing that you can calculate the area of um, a graph given an r, which we can find from this over here, is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, um, by saying a is equal to 1 half um, integrate from a to b, in this case 0 to 2 pi, um, r squared dt in this case. So I'm going to start by evaluating um, what we would get um, for r. So this is what I'm going to have to evaluate in order to get r. Um, I'm going to skip the part where you FOIL and um, I'm just going to show you what uh, expressions you'll get after you do all that out. Uh, so I've just um, taken this apart and if you look at this, it looks a little messy at first, but you can group the terms together such that you can use um, these three um, uh, identities above in order to make this a much simpler um, expression. So if you group this, 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 if you group it in this way, you'll find that by evaluating uh, this sine of 2t to be uh, 2 times sine of t, cosine of t, and if you evaluate um, and group the others, you can find that you can use this identity of sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1, and the um, expression just simplifies so very much. I'm going to rewrite it. And eventually your terms are just going to group together to be this. And this is also equal to uh, sine of t and all of that squared. If you take the square root, it will give you r because this is x squared plus y squared and r is equal to the square root of that. Uh, so some of you may have already figured this out just by looking at uh, the graph. This is a cardioid. It looks very much like the cross section of a pumpkin, I like to say. Um, so that's why I kind of gave you this one. And, but from here, it's very easy to calculate the area of this because of uh, the equation that I gave you above. Okay, so I'm going to start by rewriting r, but uh, we already squared it earlier, and then we took the square root of it to give you r again. I'm going to just write this out. And then we see again we have the 4 minus 8 sine of t plus 4 sine squared of t dt. Um, that is what we had before, and I'm going to use this um, third identity over here to dissolve this sine squared of t into terms that are much easier to integrate. So I'm going to group some terms together to make this a little easier to look at. On from here, this is very easy to integrate. Um, it is simply, uh, you're going to evaluate it, zero. And when you do so, you're very simply going to get pi plus 4 minus 4, which is just equal to 6 pi. And that gives you the area of this uh, cardioid cross-section of pumpkin, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that is it for this week's problem of the week, Halloween themed. We hope you have a very happy celebration of the holiday. Thank you so very much for watching. If you want to see more problems of the week, you can click right here. If you want to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, you can click right here. If you want to visit us on centermat.org, feel free to click here. And if you are on a mobile device, there should be an I in the corner up there. And if you click it, it should give you the same links. Thank you very much for watching.